All right, guys and girls, welcome back to another episode. So I hope you're having a fantastic day. It is September the 12th, and in today's episode, we're going to jump into the Bitcoin price in just a second. Some news as well over in the UK. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. It will help me uh, grow on YouTube. Smash up the like button. You know what to do by now. So anyway, without further ado, let's just jump straight into uh, the Bitcoin price. So as you can see, yesterday looked like we were rolling over. Um, we did talk about that in the video, but today we have just uh, gone from what 55k all the way up to we've gone up 5.4% altogether. We are having a tiny pullback on the lower time frames, but we're currently sitting at 58,000. So the 58k yesterday was the the point where we got rejected. I mean, we got rejected yesterday on Tuesday, on Monday, and right now we are trying our best to get back above and hold above 58,000 US dollars. So in the short term, where are we going? Well, if you were following me on my channel, I did say that I am expecting, let me just sort the mouse out. I am expecting us to stay inside this bull flag. Um, like I said on my channel, uh, yeah, I think it was yesterday or the day before, um, that this was probably the, the V-shape recovery that we were looking for and yeah, I mean, yesterday it looked like we're going to have that dead cat pounce and most likely come down here, but we didn't um, to retest that support. That didn't happen. It was like a fake out, and uh, now we're we're coming back up to our sixty k level. So yes, Bitcoin still it's not out of the woods yet. We still need to um, head past that sixty k uh, dollar level. So hopefully we can do that today, or we have a pump tomorrow just before the weekend where we do get past our $60,000 level and then over the weekend what would be good is if we consolidate uh, just for two days um, and we get that bounce off the 60k and then into next week we can start talking about that next level of key resistance notice on the Fibonacci is at 64,000 that we looked at yesterday that's when we can start talking about 64k and of course, the top of our resistance for this uh, bull flag. So my opinion, as I mentioned, I think we're going to start heading towards uh, the top of this bull flag. That's just my opinion, of course. Don't base your trades on me. I'm just a, a random guy on YouTube. Do your own research. Take in as much information as possible from other resources. But most important, just trust yourself educate yourself and yeah, just do your own research before jumping into a trade and before buying anything. So everything I say is just for educational uh, purposes only and you can read that disclaimer, the description uh, just below. So yeah, uh, short term, we'll probably stay inside this uh, ball flag uh, for the next two, three weeks. Um, I don't think anything major will happen in September. Of course, September is known as Rectember people walk away, whatever you want to call it, September generally is not great. So it would be fantastic if September just had a green month for once. We only had a few of them. We go on our Bitcoin monthly returns. You can see, I mean, last year we had a 4% growth, but before that it was several uh, Septembers in a row where we had um, yeah negative. So right now we're only, what, minus 1.6%. Uh, so it would be nice if we see like a even if it's just a 3% growth in September, we, we stop that cycle of September being horrible. But September is Rectember. The good news is we're only a few weeks, 18 days or so away uh, from October the 1st, where we normally uh, start seeing these uh, green months. So I'm going to jump into the Bitcoin monthly returns in just a second. Also going to talk about the, the Bitcoin quarterly returns, quite interesting here. So stay tuned to the very end for that. But just going back into um, the technicals of Bitcoin. So right now, if you're trading this, then you want to look at the lower time frames, even go down to the two hour, you know, the one hour. Um, but yeah, it's looking, it's looking good um, unless we have that dead cat bounce, which looked like it was going to be yesterday. But yeah, our next level of resistance is going to be here. Let me just get rid of this. It's going to be around, in my opinion, the $60,000 level. Um, we have to break the 60000 So yes, we could still come up another 3%. 
We've got this resistance around here as well. So we're, well, I mean, we're touching resistance 58k to 60k. Um, so it would be good to see us push through today or tomorrow. So if you're going to trade, maybe just be patient. Wait for that um, that pullback or that clear breakout. For me, I should have jumped in uh, here, like I mentioned. I didn't. I missed this one. Um, if you did take this trade based on the the bull flag that I drew uh, weeks ago, then you are currently up almost 8%. So if you're using leverage, if you're using 10x leverage, you're up almost 80% in this single trade. So congratulations to you. Again, unfortunately for me, I missed uh, missed out on this trade, but you can't get them all. So for me, what am I waiting for? Either I'm waiting for that pullback, back down to the low of 53K, or I'm waiting for us to go through the 60K level get a bounce off the 60k level and then I will start looking at taking a, a trade around here because then the next leg up for me is 64 towards 70,000 US dollars. So either here or worst case scenario we come all the way back down here and retest our bull flag of 53,000 and I'll be looking at jumping into a trade uh, here. So that's pretty much the short term for September. Again, I don't really like uh, trading or doing too much in September because September, generally speaking, is, yeah, I walk away in September. Uh, towards the end of September, I probably just told a lie there, I do start looking at altcoins at the, towards the last week, the last 10 days of September um, because I believe it's usually the last time to jump in, especially during a bull run. So what do I mean by this? Well, if we go to the Bitcoin monthly returns, Back in 2017, we had that pullback of what uh, eight or seven and a half percent, and then from October we had almost a 50 percent, 50 percent, 40 percent rise. And of course, after Bitcoin led the way, altcoins absolutely exploded. Um, Ethereum went to twelve hundred dollars, another coin, Cardano, XRP, etc. So that was around, what quarter was that? That was quarter four, 2017. So that was a 215% rise. And obviously in January, we had that blow off top. And we went into a bear market for two years, going into 2020, where we had 168% rise in 2020, um, all the way here. So we had that obviously in uh, March, the COVID dump. And then at the back end of the year, we had a pretty decent year despite having COVID but it was again it was after the the Bitcoin halving um, I don't remember when if it was April or May we had a decent July and then of course we had a 168 170% rise uh, during that phase so if you just go back yeah 20 from 2009 to 2013 I don't really count it as a it's a cycle but you couldn't really compare it to anything so for me the real cycle began 2013 to 2017 where you could compare that cycle with the previous cycle if you get what I mean so even though 2009 2013 was a cycle you just had nothing before you had no data no history it was a new innovation that came on the scene um, blockchain Bitcoin etc and then Ethereum came and other altcoins so for me the real deal was from 2013 to 2017 where you could actually compare the cycle and of course 2017 to 2020 you could really see uh, the cycles develop and then over the last four years I mean we've been in a bull run now for over a year or you can call it accumulation phase but we haven't been in the real meat of the bull run which is about to get underway with quarter four so in my opinion there's two possibilities a more possible it's just my opinion of course there's several possibilities what could happen i mean we could have a major black swan event and everything just crashes i am expecting a global financial catastrophe 20 at the maybe at the end of 2025 2026 but i'm hoping that this uh, cycle will repeat again so if we do repeat like last time the last cycle in 2020 2021 we could be seeing a six month um, basically green months six months full of green um, so that would be what was that 20 20 168 percent quarter four three months and then quarter one another three months a hundred percent so we've got 268 percent we could see that this cycle but I was thinking about yesterday walking to work I have a feeling 
that the bear market over the next few cycles are going to be longer, but that the bull markets are going to be shorter, faster, more parabolic. Uh, but it, again, it's just my opinion. Let me know in the comments if you agree. Eventually, the cycles will be broken and Bitcoin will just uh, be so high in price that it will just uh, basically be like a, a stock eventually where it just goes up a few percent a year. But that's many, many years into the future, maybe in the next 10 years or so. So right now, it's still parabolic. It's still very early um, to jump in. So I'm thinking, are we? everybody's expecting a 300 to a $500,000 Bitcoin. I hear this every cycle. People start putting their moon boots on. They get way too optimistic and they're thinking, yeah, I mean, it could happen. And I'm, I'm sure one day Bitcoin is going to go to a million dollars, but majority of people are saying it's going to go to 300, 500,000. So in my mind, I think what we could see this year, because there's so much happening, especially over in the US with uh, the presidential election and other things, I'm expecting that financial crisis to happen. Could we, this time, have a carbon copy of 2017? So a blow off top. In my opinion, I think we could see that quite easily where we just have the next October through December where Bitcoin rallies really quick over 10 weeks. We go past that six figure. We go to 120, 150,000 max. And then January hits and we have uh, that pullback in January and March, etc., where we come down overall 50% and we go back into a crypto winter. But that's just my thesis, just my opinion, of course. I hope that we have like what we saw in 2020, 2021, where we have six months of pure green and that Bitcoin does go to 350 to 500,000 this cycle. But I'd rather be bit more like, realistic and then when as soon as we go past that six figure that 100k that 120k that's my um, strategy this time to start dollar cost dollar costing ab averaging out of uh, different positions not to sell everything of course I'm holding Bitcoin for the long term um, for many many years but to take profits, initial investment, profits off the table, especially in the altcoins, because the altcoins will absolutely dump down 90, 95 to 98%. So if you're gonna hold on to altcoins, I mean, you do what you want, but they will dump 90 odd percent. Um, the best thing to do is what I do, is just if if we know we're gonna go into a bear market, move into stable coins, move them into Bitcoin. I mean, Bitcoin's not gonna go down 90 odd percent. Eventually, like I said, it's gonna go to half a million, even a million one day. So. Yeah, I'm just thinking maybe quarter four is going to be similar to the quarter four of 2017 where we have that parabolic rocket ship to the upside. Everybody's expecting similar to 2020, 2021. Um, but let me know what you think. I mean, it's just my idea. Maybe I'm talking absolute rubbish. But just, yeah, let me know what you think. For sure, I'm 100% sure at the end of this year, we're going to see at some point a six bigger dollar Bitcoin. If we don't, I'll hold my hands up, say I was wrong, but I'll be absolutely astonished if we don't see anywhere close to a hundred thousand dollar Bitcoin, even 120,000 come the end of this year. So short term, like I've been saying, we've got to get past that 60k. Long term, like I keep saying, we're probably most likely coming up to maximum 150 by the end of this year. I think at the beginning of this week, I spoke about that huge uh, cup and handle that we would form if this bear flag does play out and we do break it then we form that handle we've got that cup and the price target for that cup and handle is all the way here at 115 to 120,000 but normally as we get to the towards the end of a bull run with Bitcoin we have like explosive moves where every day we'll be seeing like 10k 15k green candles towards that 150 maybe towards 120, uh, 200,000, but I'm not gonna take any chances. I'm not gonna get greedy. As soon as we get to that six figure, my plan is to start selling around those levels. Not everything, of course, because we could go 250 and beyond, but to start taking profits off the table. So that's pretty much it for Bitcoin. Just one thing before I leave you, 
the UK uh, proposes bill to recognise crypto as personal property. So the UK government has introduced a bill to Parliament that would, for the first time in the country's history, recognise cryptocurrency as personal property under the new law. So the property bill will treat digital assets, also including digital holdings, NFTs and carbon credits, as personal property for further legal protection of holders and investors in the UK market. So again, let me know what you think to this. I think it's uh, really good news. Of course, I'm from uh, the UK originally. I don't live there, haven't lived there over the last 10 years, but the UK, they want to, uh, for, just from reading this, I mean, you can read it yourself, uh, want to get to grips with digital assets. They don't want to be left behind. And I think it did mention that uh, somewhere down here. Um, yeah, it was here. The newly proposed bill is also a stepping stone in the UK's roadmap to become a leader in digital finance. So the government outlined its statement that the country governs 250 billion in global mergers and acquisitions, uh, as well as 40% of global corporate arbitration. So yeah, this with this new bill, it could be obviously it's yet to be officially passed. The UK will look to encourage private digital asset companies to enter the UK market as it has now provided more clarity of ownership, something that has been a major battle in the US between the SEC and relevant crypto companies. So this is quite big. I mean, for me, obviously being from the UK, uh, this is it's obviously good news. Um, this could be just one catalyst um, for Bitcoin and the rest of the alt altcoins to start pumping obviously not just this there's going to be several reasons we've got a lot of uncertainty at the moment I mean we're still in the fear um, so if you're looking at uh, diving into altcoins now is a good time again just my opinion but I will be DCA in as as long as we're in the fear and greed start reading things like this as well I'll be jumping into more Bitcoin more um, other digital assets other altcoins um, especially this month, maybe at the beginning of October. Um, but as soon as you start seeing loads and loads and loads of um, news articles, advertisements on crypto, when your grandma starts talking about crypto, then you know that's the time to sell, to get out and to walk away for two years. Because as soon as your grandma starts talking about your aunt or whatever, your uncle, that's probably the peak of the bull run. And then we're going to go into a crypto winter. So just uh, some news there. So let me know about that, what you think. Let me know in the comments section below what you are doing, which altcoins you're buying and where you think um, Bitcoin is going in the short term. And if you agree with my uh, thesis for the rest of this, uh, for the end of this year, where we could see that blow off top. So thanks guys and girls for sticking to the end. Enjoy, enjoy your Thursday and I hopefully will see you tomorrow, if not tomorrow, definitely next week. So thanks again and bye bye.